since 2010, exports grew less than the cross domestic product globally. I call this relative deglobalization. What we have seen is that gradually foreign direct investments are replacing exports. So we have a total reconfiguration of the global value chain, including research and development. You have to do it in the pharmaceutical diabetes sector. You have to do it both in Asia, in Europe and uh, in, in the US. And another very important uh, aspect is here the availability of top talent. And there, China is very strong because you have so many graduates in engineering, in computer science, in hard topics. And in, in Germany, that's a huge bottleneck. We don't have enough people in these fields. And I think that will be very good for the world because it creates necessity, pressure for cooperating. Uh 要有自己的这个辩证法系统论甚至做药的一些独特的一些方法。所以在这样的一个背景和基础之下，我相信啊，中国的生物医药产业大有发展啊，华林一定能够走向世界，像中国的其他产业一样，其他产业里的领军企业一样，引领世界的潮流。Over the last uh, three decades of research, it is quite clear that uh, people with diabetes in Asia are subtly different from people with diabetes in Europe and also North America. And this is uh, typified by younger age of diagnosis, lower beta cell function, more visceral obesity, and also a propensity for developing diabetic kidney disease. So back in 1995, we introduced this structured risk assessment where these patients had their eye looked at, the feet looked at, the blood and urine. They're all you know, measured in one go because these risk factors are interrelated. Now, so this is really uh, the beginning of the Hong Kong Diabetes Register. Now we have nearly 800,000 people who are on the system and we were able to show that over the last 16 years, the death rates of people with diabetes in Hong Kong has dropped by 70%. The importance of this register is these data are really uh, used to triage care, to inform the doctors uh, for personalized treatment. From a research perspective, right, this uh, biobank, which is set up since 1995, has become a very powerful resource for us to understand the different genetic factors and how it interact with the lifestyle factors as well as the treatment patterns, what are the drug targets, uh, their relevance, for example, uh, in a population. Uh, 有了非常大的进步过渡到一个温饱解决
，我们整个目前糖尿病的患病的增长趋势还没有得到控制，加上我们国家的人口数量众多，所以患者群确实在不断的增加。那么由于呢，整个患者群增加的时候，我们的这种标准化的管理或者是精细的慢病管理的一个流程，还没有更深入到每一个基层当中去。所以，我们无论是控制率、达标率，都还需要进一步的提高。有差别的就是，我们中国的 GP， 也就是说，呃，社区卫生服务中心的医生和家庭医生的管理糖尿病病人的能力，要比这个国际上或者说一些西方发达的国家要差很多。所以这也是我致力于，就是基层医生糖尿病，嗯、呃、糖尿病医生来培训的一个非常非常重要的，让他们知道怎么来管理糖尿病病人。糖尿病不仅仅是血糖的问题、血脂的问题、血压的问题、体重的问题，以及等等。In the diabetes area, important thing is the diabetes complications. Now. In the worldwide uh, scope, uh, we have uh, uh, 580 million uh, diabetes patients. However, our medical expense related to the diabetes and the complication reached 1 trillion US dollars. So uh, I think uh, with uh, Dorlagliatin come to the market and then is uh, be able to repair the glucose homeostasis, and then retain the uh, healthy medical conditions and then reduce the overall medical expenditure, uh, not only in China, but also in the rest of the world. We definitely Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.